so we got these for sale. I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Uh, 350 each. Uh, is that shipped? No. It's 350 and then I think it's 25 or 30 bucks shipped. These are D2s, or at least they should be. I won't know until I take them out. Uh, but it's a final two ohm load in the box, and then I'll probably sell the box for 150, 200 bucks. I might even put adapters on the front so we can put uh, round subwoofers in it. It's a good box, though, by Kicker. So I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of what's going on for the stream later on. I already got a text from Scotty Dilbeck. Um, I don't want to say pleading, but he's like, I'm trying to be the bigger person and stop keeping, stop putting my name in your mouth or whatever, whatever. And I was like, if you want to put your little shrimpy redheaded wiener in my mouth, that's fine. I'm like, I'm okay with that. So well, let's go look on the texts. Uh, oh yeah, use Craig, uh, was it uh, Crutchfield by the way for their database. It's really, it's pretty accurate. They don't have all the vehicles, but they're, it's pretty accurate. Uh, let's see. <sighs> do, 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 do. Patrick, stop using my name in videos slash titles. Dude, like, come on. Well, what's funny is this is, um, oh, hold on real quick. I gotta it, sync up the phone. Sometimes it doesn't sync right away until I get in the room. Hang on. All right, sorry about that. Um, so Scott Dilbeck says, Patrick, stop using my name in videos, titles. I was just promoting the live stream that's later today at 4 p.m., which is gonna be in about four hours. So, but I wanted to, uh, I was, um, when he texted me, I was taking a big old dill back and uh, I had to watch the, the dingleberries out my butthole. But I said, uh, basically I said real quick, I said, you made your bed. Meaning if you look at his um, replies and buddy up with Jacob on Facebook, um, he actually threatened some sort of cease and desist, which is ridiculous because I don't seek, uh, I don't seek Scott out. I'm just, I'm just simply responding to the disrespect that he has shown not only me, but the community by, by tagging along with what Jacob is doing, which is taking advantage of people's ignorance. But again, so somebody just sent this on Facebook, which I thought was really Poignant, uh, I said, disrespect will close doors that apologies can't reopen. And it says, let that sink in. And the idea is that, and, and of course, Scott misinterpreted this immediately. He's like, I'm not apologizing for anything. I'm like, I didn't ask for your apology, dum-dum. So he says right there, he says, I'm not apologizing, buddy. If you're speaking of the two times your name has come out of my mouth this year, this is this was in retaliation of my domain his domain <laughs> doesn't belong to you, Bubba. Uh, domain uh, backup video. I just have a little bit more reach. So now he's trying to flex. Now he's trying to show me that he is uh, stronger than me. He is more powerful than me, um, and I should just shut the fuck up. And so then he has this picture. Let's look at it. It says total insights. People reach three hundred fifty thousand. Post engagement seventy four hundred, uh, which. Uh, Super Duty Robot Underground. I don't, I, again, I think this is just a flex to show him how much he paid for ads or how much, he, I, I hope it's all organic. I hope a 39 second video is organic and he got that many views. Like, good job. Again, I don't know how that concerns me, but okay. So uh, I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he says, uh, if you weigh who's who, disrespected who. I didn't, I didn't I had no idea who he was until he disrespected the ad that I had posted. I had no idea who he was. And you can go back and look at the videos. I was like, who is this dildo? And come to find out, it's Scotty Dildo. So he says, you have severely and no comparison more disrespected me. So now he's having like a pity party slash uh, pissing contest. He says, oh, I made this a while back, was pretty popular. So he's gotta work on his syntax, but you know, whatever I said, I'm sorry you're dumb and rich. That makes for a dangerous combo. And then he sends me more pictures of how awesome he is. And I said, I'm not even sure why you're texting me. If you're so rich and powerful, why do you bother? And he says, laugh out loud, me rich? No. He says, and I'm texting you to keep my name out of your YouTube content. Once again, going 
about it in a nice way. This is not a very nice way, just so you know. Um, he says, uh, and I'm not rich and powerful and never claimed as such. You don't have to. Guys like you don't have to. There's a, there's a great um, series going on right now. Um, I, I forget the guys. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, he comes on, he's on TikTok. And I know you girls are scared of TikTok. It's fine. This is a really, really good series. It's about rich speak and the way that rich people sort of, they, like they don't even realize they're talking in code, but they're constantly comparing. Uh, it's for their ego, but they're constantly trying to search for other people that are like-minded, meaning rich and snobby, I'm better than you, that kind of thing. Um, and he does it as a hand puppet moose. It's hilarious, but it's very, very informative. I'll put a link to it in the description. So it says, uh, this, I say, this does not look like a cease and desist. And I say that because that's what he threatened to do in the Facebook post on, on I think it's on Jacob's channel, on YouTube, on, not on YouTube, on Facebook. So it says, uh, this looks like a crybaby being a bitch. So, which I, again, that's just my opinion. Um, he says, laugh out loud. I mean, I really can go that route. Again, these are the threats. Uh, aware, blah, 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 blah. his syntax is terrible. I don't really want to make fun of his syntax. Uh, but then he brings up the, the court dates again, this, the, whatever. Uh, these are, this is public information. And, uh, so I said, uh, you should go back and read what you just typed. Uh, you're kind of retarded on this. Uh, if you're going to make a threat, Scott, it's important to have some commitment. And I said, I would love to see what your best shot looks like. If this text is any indicator, it's going to be a sad, miserable, patchy little vagina. Uh, sorry for not responding earlier. I was taking a big deal back. I told you, told you guys that before. I said washing, washing it out of my butthole. And then, of course, he uses smooches patty, which I suspect is sarcasm because I don't really think he wants to kiss me. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad you can express your gay feelings for me. I've been picked up on by a lot of times and I'm always flattered. Uh, by uh, gay pickup. Uh, and no problem, sunshine, I totally understand. I said, yep, you sometimes just gotta get in there with a the rubber glove and get all the dingleberries out. So, oh, he talks more, oh, okay. Uh, he says, I'm gonna come by your LA storm motors and frames when you are doing time, when I'm in jail. Uh, I said, sounds good. I said, uh, you'll have to talk to Josh Pastrana because he's the national rep on those. Uh, and I'll talk about that more in the live stream. Uh, I, he says, take a selfie in front of Boner Garage. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, and nah, they will be cleaning out the building for scrap money pretty fast. I think, it, again, it's part of the threat that uh, I'm gonna go to jail for something. I have no idea what, because um, again, I didn't do anything. So the burden on the state to provide, um, what is it? It's not undeniable proof. It's like, you know, whatever, they, they, gotta, they gotta fool a jury somehow. And again, they, there's no evidence, but I'm like, okay, that's fine. So, and again, uh, anybody who's, who's black knows what the fuck I'm going through when you just get arrested because the cops feel like it. So again, and this is one of the reasons why I've been pushing uh, for education, education, education about the system. And the whole system is based on fraud. As soon as uh, they fill out the uh, birth certificate, and, and then it's confirmed by the social security number, and then it's confirmed by driver's license, and then it's confirmed by, they're, they're, they're creating fraud the whole time. The whole thing is fraud. Uh, and all you have to do is call them out on it. Uh, I said, please tell me more, or please tell me what else about the future. And he says, it's bright. Positivity is a mindset, remember. So I think he's talking about AIDS. So, because when you have AIDS, you're, you're positive. But, more to come in the live stream. Uh, again, it's about four hours from now. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.